New drivers from Callaway in 2024, always a big deal here at Second Swing, and today we're reviewing them. We've got Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Drivers, three models, and we have Mr. Kevin Kraft here to do some swinging and testing for us. So stay tuned, we'll tell you everything you need to know about the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft here in the Tour Van Bay at Minnetonka. New drivers. Always from Callaway. A good, always a good time. Paradigm AI Smoke. Um, the latest in the, I guess, par maybe this is the second year now of Paradigm, I Paradigm. guess, being yep. part of the Callaway inline uh, product, if you will. So, yep. Paradigm AI Smoke, There's we got three models here. We've got a Max, we've got a Max D, and we've got a Triple Diamond. So, Kevin, first thoughts, first impressions on just what you see when you look at these three drivers. Um, smoky. Smoky, yeah. I mean, that's really the first thing you're gonna kind of yeah. kind of see there. It's you're either gonna think smoke or you're gonna think like camouflage, right? Yeah, I suppose. But if, yeah. you, if you look at it close, it's definitely more kind of smoky. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, it's predominant on each of the drivers. Uh, you flip it over, and we've got a new color scheme for 2024. Gone is the the blue the of the paradigm. Blue, yeah. um, I actually feel like this actually flows a little better. The color of the, you know, the, the front edge where it matches into the the carbon fiber, mm -hmm. I think, is a little less distracting. Yeah. You know, the gray going into the blue, there was a decided right. difference there. This sort of, to me, I guess, makes a little more sense. Sure, so, sure. Um, you know, from an aesthetic standpoint, they look they look good. And technology-wise, there's a bunch of new stuff in here, too. So of course. There's a new face design or face technology. So each club face structure is different for each model from the AI smart face. So using real player data, they did a bunch of testing. And um, basically there's hot spots on the club face as Kevin's pointing out, but there are different hot spots for each model. So yeah. because different players miss hit in different spots. So, yes. um, but within that, so there's multiple sweet spots. There's also the same kind of stronger carbon chassis as from the Paradigm series. Mm -hmm. Also there is, at least in the Max, and I believe is the Triple Diamond. Uh, no, just in the Max you have adjustable weight in the back as well. In addition yes. to already their adjustable hosel. So yes. for the fitter, a lot of adjustable options to be had here. Yes. So um, probably pretty exciting for you in that regard. As a fitter? Yes, yes. absolutely. I like so, options. Testing today. Nice. Um, which one do you want to start with? I got a shaft in this guy, so might as well just... Which shaft is it, by the way? Let's go over that. This is the new Project X Denali. Uh, I've got it paired with a 60 gram 6.0 uh, stiff flex shaft. And uh, based on what we did with the fairway woods, this should feel pretty good. Mm. Um, you know, numbers remain to be seen. Well, let's find, let's see them right now. Okay, let's do that. All right, so first driver, AI Smoke Max D. Mm -hmm. uh, so the draw bias driver of the group here. What do you oh. see? Um, I see a golf club that sits really good. Yeah. You know, I, I have this on actually on the draw setting. Okay. I I want to see the ball turn over if yeah. possible, even though this one's gonna give me the you know the most D I can get. Yeah. Uh, in the max D. So um, but what it doesn't look like is something that's that's turned way down right. and and closed. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So you're gonna hit all three of the drivers in the draw setting. I am, yep. Yeah. That's that's the way mine's set up. There's no reason no reason not to. Sure. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, the color scheme is different from the original paradigm. It looks, it looks good to me. I, I definitely think it makes a little more sense the, the mm -hmm. way it flows. Uh, sure. There's just not that, that abrupt end and yeah. then a completely different color. Um, this just flows, sure. flows better. So, well, um, yeah. the, uh, the max D let's start with that. Good. Um, I'm excited to see what happens here. This is, yeah. I mean, new driver testing. Gotta love seeing it for the first time. Is gotta love exciting. new driver testing. Absolutely. There's some draw. There is some draw. There's some low spin too. That's probably gonna go left. Yep. Ooh. I got the I got the speed up a little bit, but uh, well, maybe, this is the draw bias. Maybe Sorry. a little maybe a little flippy on that one. That one seemed much better. Yeah. That's yes. Better. Wow. 
Kevin, do you like that in the lower left corner of the screen there? It says, today's high is to tie record. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Yeah, this is I, what I, I you brought, bring to Minnesota. I brought, this with, I brought high, this with me. Record high temperatures when Kevin Kraft visits Minnesota. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I, I just like the fact that I can come in, not hate every second of outside time. Yeah. And then I can go home and not worry about, like, getting out of the airport. Yeah. Because, yeah, that was a little stressful. That, well, that, like that, a year ago? That one time. Yeah. A year ago when a big yes. snowstorm hit. Oh. Minnesota. Minnesota. There we go. Okay. I feel like you're really maximizing the total distance of this thing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. See, I thought it stood for max draw, but it's apparently max distance. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe it is. Could be me being a Maybe max. The could be me being a max can... dummy too. Who knows? Max dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Way off the toe. Oh, Woo! it drew back. It did draw back. This is what I was doing after that ball made contact. So I got caught red handed doing this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was uh, that was nice, nice, face, nice, nice effort by the this. face there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, yeah, that was actually. So we like to say user error when you swing poorly and, and it works, but we should say what, what, what would that be called for club? That's for the club. That's club magic. Club. Yeah, club? I mean that's that's the the magic of bulge and roll. Yeah, it's yeah. something. Oh, there's some speed. Ooh. Ah, just turning a little more than I want to see. Ooh, low spin. Wow. Okay. That one was hit good. Sure was. Okay. 298. 298. Okay. It's getting up there. It's more where I want to be. All right. Wow. Kay. I have one that I think you'll want to remove. Yeah, that one was just uh, gross. The rest was. The rest are okay. uh, pretty good. Yeah. 1849 on the average spin, 148 smash, 259 carry, 292 total. Your thoughts, Kevin, on the max D? Yeah, um, a little surprised on the spin rate. Yeah, that is low. That's uh, a little lower than I would typically want to fit somebody into. Right. Um, dispersion wise, I'm pretty happy with all that. Yeah, I mean, that, the, that the, looks the pretty good. The you were getting was pretty consistent and pretty far, too. I mean, you're. Yeah. You know, you're. You're getting it almost, you know, you got that last one almost at 300 yards yeah. total. Yeah. Maximizing the distance you can get out of this yeah. thing for sure. Um, yeah, spin rate's a little worse. Ball speed really good off the face and across across the face because that one that I missed way out on the toe. That's right. We did not see a particularly, we didn't see really any loss of speed Let's at all see. on Which that one. one. Was Matter of fact. This one? Yes. Uh, Let's see if I can. There yeah, you go. I mean it's right in the middle of the right in the middle of the range. So yeah, I mean that was, I mean it felt like it was all the way out here. But that's <laughs> feel versus real in golf is yeah. a thing, all over the place. So um, yeah, this was actually really really pretty darn solid. The, the I mean that that spin rate's pretty awesome. Yeah. Now this a, is the loft we have at nine degrees in draw setting. Yes. So yes. For what it's worth. A lot of players, if they would hypothetically be testing this in a lot, not a lot of players will play a max D in nine degrees. Right. Probably will be higher lofted, in which yeah. case you'd see the more spin. So though if you've got somebody with speed yeah. that, that needs that, that correction, this is oh, yeah, totally. going to be a great way to go. Yeah. Great way to go. Um, okay. Let's go to got the it. max now. The max? Max. Uh, difference in club head appearance at address. Anyway. Yeah. Um, looks deeper. Not maybe quite as much back there on the sure. on the on the, the tail side there. Um, looks good. Looks aggressive. Everything else looks pretty similar. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I mean that's uh, kind of what we expect, right? Should be a little yeah. bit smaller than yeah. at least that address than the this, max D. This little guy right here is. I'm in, I'm interested to see what this. This mm. does for us because yeah. we've had this, but we didn't have this in right. the last one. Yeah, so a little bit of forward weight yep. there, visible yep. in the sole. So. Yep. 
Oh, four right. Really? I mean, yeah, okay. The numbers were were good outside of the face angle. Yeah, I hit I hit it solid. The the uh, the face angle was bad. Yeah. Seems the face angle to be more like two. Yeah, and absolutely. I like the path. Path's good. Good path, but not very good on the face angle. How'd that one feel? Okay, pretty good. Okay, not bad. I don't know why, but it sounded to me. It did sound, sound different, different, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, terrible why should, golf. Why should swing. that tee do anything for you? Terrible golf swing right there. That worked out. Kind Ugh, of. Felt awful. Not the club, the just the me. I, I mean, felt I the, felt awful. The impact location on that one. Yeah. That was also toey. Okay. That's really good though. Yep. That's I, I yep. love that these are doing exactly what I want to see them do when I catch out to the toe. Yep. Bringing it back. Bring it back or, or prevent the right that might yes. Yes. be, you know. I'm okay. I'm okay with the ball going right. I just, if I can have that correction, I'm happier having that correction. Right. Yeah. Is this the 300 ball? Maybe. Nope. Hmm. These are going a lot higher with more spin. That's interesting. Than the max D. It's interesting. That was caught a little off the top of the golf club. I mean, you could never fool me with that. Or you, no. You could, I should say. Look at that. Yeah. Is the driver okay? Is there a mark on there? <laughs> There's no mark on here. That wasn't anywhere near the. It wasn't anywhere near the top line. I had a good solid millimeter between there and the top line. <laughs> no problems. No issues. There's a hook. Oh, oh. what? Wow. It happened to me again. Right. Wow. <laughs> I got to cur <laughs> curl her back. Uh, all right. What do we get? All right. So this is going to be fascinating because I feel yeah. like you didn't hit the ball nearly as good um, with the max in terms of just impact locations all around. Yeah, so I was a little bit more all over the place with this one. And that's that's what that's what. So here's our map out. on the left. I think we kind of yeah. understood like. You know, he had a couple with the face open there. This yeah. one was, was particularly a little bit yeah. not great. That was, yeah. Um, yeah, his first swing back in, you know. Yeah. Okay. We'll uh, see. We'll keep these two and, or take those two. We got five of each up there. Okay. Actually, we got six of the other ones, so I'll keep this. Um, numbers. More spin. Ball speed goes up a little bit with club speed. Asterisk more spin. Correct. Yeah. Um, more distance though on the mm -hmm. carry because you're hitting it higher mm -hmm. um, with more spin and over 100 feet average, which was kind of cool there too. Yeah, I'm I'm actually on board with that 100 foot average. I I want this ball to get up in the air. Yeah, um, I've I've made some changes in my golf swing and and trajectory is you know I used to play a five and a half degree head. Now I'm you know this is nine. Yeah, right. So. Uh, the other piece to that is a nine degree head's a whole lot easier to square up than a five and a half degree head. Right. So, yeah. I think, you know, there's something to be said about the way the, these club faces are performing when you miss hit. I wanted to, yeah. you know, bring that up because, yeah. I mean, we'll go through these again. I don't want give me to. The, give me the heat map. Let's see what that looks like. Just click on it. Yeah. Okay. So up and down, mainly in the center. That's, that's, that's good. How about, the, how about the max D? Where did I hit that one? Okay. Well, there's, there's the reason why the spin rate was lower. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Slightly high and slightly to the toe. You're going to, yeah. that's going to push the spin down as far as it's going to go. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so there's human error involved. Oh yeah. Well, there's always going to be human. I think that's Callaway's, the whole premise of their club face design being yeah. the way it is. It's the human yeah. error that is inherently involved in golf because nobody hits it in the direct center every single time. Correct. Correct. So, correct. That's what they're going. That's what they're trying to help uh, prevent, or I guess, fight. So, yeah. um, all right, triple diamond time. Yeah, let's do that. So, triple diamond. Triple diamond. How does it look? I imagine more compact at address. More compact, deeper. Um, no alignment aid. Okay, kind of like the fairy just, woods. Then. Yep, just just very clean. Um, hmm. Well, here's a question. Yeah, right? and it's a valid question. Where is the heavier 
weight. Now, it used to be you could tell on the, on the, the weights. These look very similar, so I'm just going to check and see whether we have the heavier weight in the front or if the heavier weight's in the heel. Okay, so the heavier weight is in the back. Okay. I'm going to swap it. Okay. So you're going to go lower, go for lower spin. Yes. Or, yeah. I mean, that's the... Yeah, and just to throw my reminder again, Kevin has set every driver nine degrees in the draw setting. In the draw setting. So whenever I have tested this, uh, the, the paradigm in the past, it's been with the weight up front. Okay. So I'm trying to get as much, you know, a little lower launch and a little lower, lower spin. So, okay. Now, I'm trying to tell if there's a difference between these, these two blue colors. Maybe there is a little bit. In the weight? Might, yeah, it might be a little darker. Because in the, in the old, uh, in the paradigm, the heavier weight was a more of a matte finish, and the oh. lighter one was a little shinier. So hmm. that was how you could how you could tell. I didn't even I never even messed with them. So that uh, that's why you're the fitter. That, that's correct. Yeah. Lots of speed. Is it going left? No. Oh come on! I'm calling shenanigans. Calling the shenanigans. I, that did not feel like that at all. Oh no, that didn't feel like that at all. Look at the ball speed. I mean, look, we have noticed that lower on the club faces have been very fast on, on everything. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't feel, I did not feel a hook coming there. That might hang a little out to the right. There it is. Okay. A little That's more like it. I'm a little surprised at how much turn we're seeing here. God, I hope that I hope that doesn't go left because it didn't feel like it was going to go left. It did a tiny bit. Yeah, it was a line. little, little bit of a turner. I mean, you're hitting this one really hard. Yeah, I need to loft up. That's uh, that's one thing that's going to come out of this. There you go. Better. Three hundred. Wow. Toe. Might come back then. Might. Hold your. Yep, there it is. Fights it. Coming back. I, want, I really want to see Justin Thomas do one of these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. When that was, yes. The last driver. Yep. That one should go hard right. You are correct, sir. Yeah, there we go. That one just felt late. Came off top of the golf club. Beautiful. Straightness, finally. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, we've got uh, got some shots out there. This is the one that was way right, we'll probably get rid of. Yeah, that was just, I don't know, me being lazy, I guess. Okay. Okay. There's our map. Okay. It kind of makes sense that it's probably, I mean, this is the least forgiving driver of them. So it is. You get that. Um, numbers. What do you see? So. I mean, low spin, which is what this is designed for. It's how I had it set up. Yeah. Um, landing angles, a little on the shallow side. Sure. Carry number was okay. Uh, total number was okay. Uh, height was definitely lower. I, I would want to see a little more height. So yeah. technically, if I was fitting me, I'd probably bump max. me up to ten. I'd probably bump me up oh. to ten degrees here. Yeah. And try it. I mean, the numbers were really good with the max. So there's probably no legit reason why I have to go into a harder to hit golf club. Yeah. Or I could swap the weight back out to the backside. Yeah. Make this a little bit more stable. Um, you know, increase the launch just a little bit, increase spin just a little bit. Spin is forgiveness, right? We want to have, we want to have enough spin that we're not making golf harder on ourselves. Right. Exactly. Right? So, yeah. um, you know, even though I love the, the look and, and the way this thing sets up, it does sit a little bit open. So, yeah. you know, there may have been some human physical correction trying to, yeah, mentally trying to you're really just, square you that thing to, up. I have, I have to, to work harder to, yep. to make it work. I was a little surprised at how much turn we were seeing right there. Um, that's all. <laughs> uh, that, that, that one's on me. It's not on the golf club. Well, it's, uh, I mean, 
it is the the least forgiving of the three. So it is going yes. to be more of this yes. um, than the other. You should models, you but. should expect a little wider, a little right. wider spread. Yeah, but um, I mean the speed is there for sure. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah. A lot of speed, and with all drivers, but especially that one, you had a little yep. more. I mean, you swung a little faster, but the yep. ball speed jumped up a ton. Um, and the spin was kind of in the money zone there, low 2000s, yeah. um, which is what you're looking for. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's all good. Great. I mean, they're, yeah. They're all, explosive they're all stuff good. from yeah. the Paradigm AI smoke. I think we can wrap it up in the final thoughts. Yeah. All right. Kevin, testing complete yeah. of the Callaway Paradigm AI smoke drivers. Um, your overall impressions from testing these three driver heads? They're. Very good. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, I like the feel. I like the look a little bit better than than Paradigm from last year. Um, I hit the ball all over the club face, and it did pretty much exactly what they said it was going to do. Yeah, I mean, it the performance on those shots did not really drop much. Ball speeds all. were were good, and I I put it to the test. I was I was low heel. I was high toe. Yep. Um, love the fact that high toe came back yeah. consistently, yeah. right? So that's that one for me is is usually the is usually that one mm -hmm. and for it to be that one is right. is, is kind of nice. There was, oh wait, it's it's coming back. Cuz there's there are times on the tie toe where there's the um, there's the gear effect where that yes. kind of yes. stabilizes and turns back, but yeah. then there's also higher toer that the club face actually goes like this. Yes. And yes. goes like this. Yeah. Because I hit open. a couple of those that felt like that. Yeah. And, and then they and it came back. Turned back. Which, in. Is, so there's, which is great. That's more. It's another layer set. of forgiveness in yeah. these driver heads, I yeah. think, this year. So let's go through each model in, in uh, um, uh, each model specifically. So we're starting with the Max D here. Yep. First one you hit. Um, clearly, kind of some draw bias in there as well. So yep. um, the golfer that will play this model. So somebody that has. A little bit more of an issue losing the ball out to the right. Yeah. Somebody that maybe needs a little more help launching it. You know, this is not as deep a face, so that's going to produce a little, little higher launch for us. Um, not that, not that anybody couldn't play this. Yeah, uh, it absolutely can. The the draw bias was not. You know, we didn't see me hooking right everything off the planet. So, um, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, it's it's primarily going to be for that guy that, that wants either a little more launch or, or a little more correction. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. um, now the the max here, which also has the most adjustability, we got the slide yes. on the back, um, obviously in the hosel as well. So max model, I think applies to most players. Yeah, it's it's gonna, it's it's designed to fit the the majority of players. We've got good adjustability here, um, being able to throw some weight in the heel or in the toe to to combat tendencies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We do have you know a little more weight forward than we've had in the past yeah. here, so that's uh, obviously they're they're going after a little bit lower spin, so that's mm -hmm. that's great. Um, there's a lot of people out there that struggle with a little too much spin, a little bit maybe negative angle of attack or yeah. you know something like that. So um, that one should do that should be the the majority of what we're going to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then lastly, the triple diamond um, that you just hit. Yep. Thoughts on that? Um, Excellent, looks fantastic. Good hot swap ability with uh, with weights here. Um, definitely a little more challenging. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I struggled with it a little bit uh, in in the test. It would I'd certainly just, be less forgiving. Yeah, and uh, you know, user <laughs> it's it, it's going to be user dependent, right? So yeah, a little bit more user dependent than than yeah. the other two. Typically, higher swing speed guys, uh, somebody that's looking to really drive down drive down spin. Um, you know, throwing the weight in the back will make it a little more stable. Uh, yeah. Give it a little bit, a little bit more, uh, a little more spin and, and a little bit better launch condition. I just, uh, I would need to do a little bit of tuning to this sure. to get it to where for you to where I need to be right now. I, my 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 game is is ever changing, yeah. and I went through a long period of time where I needed, you know, a really low loft, and I do not need that anymore. I would legitimately have probably benefited from having this set at ten. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, changes, changes coming. Well, changes in the golf swing happen. That's why it's important to get fit and um, make sure it's a pretty much a yearly thing that you're checking to make sure the equipment that you yeah. play, especially if you play a lot of golf, make sure yeah. that it's still fit for your swing. So um, get fit for the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Drivers at Second Swing. You can schedule that fitting through the online 
fitting website, or you can just stop into one of our store locations and uh, talk to one of our experts. We'll get you dialed in and um, ultimately hitting longer, straighter tee shots. That's what this is designed yeah. to do, and that's pretty much what we saw. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. So thank you, Kevin. Sure. And uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Tell us in the comments what you think about these drivers, and we'll see you next time.